So I was drawn to parks and recreation and conservation at a very early age. I was a Girl Scout, and uh, in a neighborhood, I was fortunate to live in a community where we had a full group of kids our age, all the way uh, from my younger sibling to myself being the older group, kind of like the little rascal, so to speak. And uh, we spent our time all year round outdoors. And uh, I have some reflective experiences of uh, walking and building uh, box sports, taking our little red wagons uh, down to North Shore refrigeration and on the days that they would have the boxes and then we'd put them on our wagon and we'd drag them all the way back. And uh, we would unload those and make a full community, uh, basically a, a little community center in our backyards. And we would, we would also go to the hardware store and we would learn our electricity with batteries and to light it out. And, and we, we would spend our summers as, until it rained and then getting the tarps, but, but we would spend our time outdoors and, and whether it being bicycle rides, I was always the coordinator of all the kids' activities. So I think that hit me at a very young age um, of something that was really special um, but I really didn't know at that time that there was actually a field uh, to do parks and recreation. Um, my mother was a, a music director. Uh, my dad worked for the railroad. Um, but they did instill with me this opportunity to be creative. And so I think that was, was part of my background. Um, during the summer, I worked at our local park district, which was just down the road. And that basically started uh, some of my early careers of managing um, the ice rink concession stand and then at the pool at a high school age. I was put in charge of ordering equipment and inventories and saw the deck rats and the, and the rink rats. And, uh, and then that worked for a, a country club as well, doing the golf course and special events and parties. Well, Parks and Recreation, uh, over the years, I think where it started, it was a place where community centers and they offer general types of activities with generalists. And what I've seen over the years during my career and I think the services that we provide is very diversified. Um, we're still meeting the needs of the community in many different ways. We are the hearts of community, but I think the specialization of the talent and the skills that we offer and provide has become more sophisticated, but yet simple. And meaning that, um, we are that. We provide a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge and talent. Um, we're called in with the community partners uh, to bring our skill sets to the table, um, whether it be from uh, municipal government, county government, our state and elected officials, um, and to the program schools. You know, there's just a lot that we offer in our field and uh, because of that diversity and, and subject expertise. So NRPA does an excellent job. There are so many pathways um, that professionals can take to get into this field. And what NRPA does beyond your basic, um, whether you went to a university or whether um, you're a professional that's received technical trade, uh, you come into the profession in, in many different ways. And I think that's a wonderful opportunity because you can get involved. That's one of the pieces that NRPA provided myself was that opportunity to leadership uh, to pick up additional, to attend schools, to get the certifications, to get the certification of Parks and Recreation, a CPRP, uh, which now I have a CPRE, and those advanced uh, skills that keeps you learning. Um, and that is invaluable. Those, those resources are invaluable to professionals. One of the things that I believe is a, a core competency of parks and recreation professionals is they are problem solvers. And they look at every item versus is the glass half full or, or is, it, uh, uh, is it half empty, right? Whatever the adage, or, or how do you turn lemons into lemonade? Um, that is what we do. It, it's kind of in our DNA and um, which is pretty magical uh, because we look to solve. We have had limited resources a lot of times within our agencies. And so then you get creative and you find ways to seek grants or to partner with other entities to, to do the best you can. One of the community projects that uh, I'm very proud of um, was the Skokie Festival of Cultures. And it, it was born out of Voices, which is valuing our image concerning ethnicity in Skokie. And Skokie is a, a melting pot. But in 1990, um, we created this program because we were seeing the cultural diversity and the need to build bridges. And I think it definitely impacted how community members took what could be perceived as a negative diverse relations where things weren't going to a blooming community where we built those cross-cultural uh, relationships into strong communities now. And so I look back uh, after leaving Skokie and that program is still in existence and it all started uh, with Voices in the Skokie Festival of Cultures.
hope. I think our future is very bright. I believe that we're going to focus in being partners, more working collaboratively, and I think we do that well already, uh, focusing on core mission areas. Our ability to thrive has to do with our clean water and, and clean air and having natural green spaces to support all living things, and then equity to ensure that all of our public spaces and the programs that we provide are accessible for every member of the community. And so we are gonna be right there at the heart. It's, it's an exciting time, and I would encourage uh, professionals, individuals that are looking to get into a field, that this is a space, um, and whatever your interest is, it, it may be in management and administration, you like working with people. The field is rewarding just knowing of how people feel. I, I get excited, just the excitement and the smiles that you see on a person's face, whether they're in your program, walking along the trail and learning new things uh, from a staff member that's inquisitive and asking questions and, and looking to how they can grow into another career path uh, along within an organization or help them soar in another area. This is the best field there ever is and I am so grateful that I selected this course uh, and, and, uh, and have found my way uh, more than ever possible. So I'm thankful.